what's going on is Ronnie Hicks production and what I want to do is I want to make this quick video about this GoPro Hero 10. I want to go over some things that I like about it. I've been shooting quite a few different films with this camera and I just wanted to recommend it to some of you guys and tell you a little bit about it and pretty much recommend it to you. This is the case that it came with. Very nice case to protect the camera and to keep the camera safe. Many of you know that when we spend money on our camera equipment, it's very expensive and we're gonna need something to make sure that the camera is taken care of and safe so that it doesn't get scuffed up and scratched up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open the case so that you guys can see the camera as well as some of the accessories that I purchased with the camera. So this is how it looks. This is how I store everything. This is how I travel with the camera. I keep everything inside of the case nice, neat, so that when it's time to use it, everything is organized and I don't have to fiddle around with anything. So everything is nice and organized. I got a total of four batteries. You can see three in this compartment up top and then there's one in the camera. So let's take a look and I'll pull things out one by one. So the first thing, it's 128 gig Extreme Pro SD card. And the reason that I keep an extra one of these because there is one with inside of the camera right now. But the reason that I keep an extra one is because I'm shooting so much film when I travel and I'm shooting so much footage that sometimes I may run out of space or may get close to running out of space. So I always make sure that I keep an extra SD card. There's one of these already in the camera, but I also keep an extra one just in case. This here, what you see is a GoPro dual charger. Many of you may know these GoPro batteries, they don't last for very long. They last a decent amount of time, but not for very long. So I always make sure that I keep this charger so that when it's time to recharge the batteries, I can do two at one time. So I always keep a total of two cables. One of these cables I'll use to charge the dual charger so that it can charge two batteries at one time. And the other one I'll stick directly into the camera and you can charge the battery in the camera while it's in the camera. This right here is my GoPro handle. Now this handle can do many things. It could be a tripod, it extends. I'll show you that later, but I always keep this. This is how I'm able to shoot great footage of myself with this handle. Now this handle goes for about $70. You may be able to find it other places for cheaper, but I end up having to pay $70 for this bad boy. But a nice GoPro branded handle that's well made. I've swam with this. I've done many different things with this. I've taken vacation trips with this. Now as for the camera, I always keep the camera inside of this purple little case here to provide more protection. So I'm gonna take it right out and here it goes. It's very nice and I keep all of my equipment in brand new condition. So it's a very nice camera. This is the GoPro 10. I bought this back in May of 2022. Very nice here. And it still looks brand new. I take care of my things very well. All right, so that's the GoPro. So what I'll do is I'll tell you a few things about it and I'll tell you what I like the most about using this camera. All right, so the first thing I'll go over is this camera is able to shoot in 5.3K all the way up to 60 frames. That is my favorite feature. It's nice, it's detailed, and there's a lot of resolution within that frame rate. Second, it's able to shoot in 4K all the way up to 120 frames per second, but it also does 60 frames, 24 frames, as well as 30 frames. It also shoots in 2.7K all the way up to 240 frames for slow motion. And then on top of all of that, it's able to take 23 megapixel pictures. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's 23 or it might be 19, but I think it's 23, don't quote me. Another thing, when I'm taking pictures or when I'm doing video, the camera is able to go into a ultra wide view. That way it can capture everything that's around you nearly to 180 degrees. Another thing that's one of my favorite features is that this camera will be extremely smooth. It has an in-body stabilization. You're able to control how much in-body stabilization that you want to have. And within the camera, it'll show you. I'm going to pop this bad boy on and show you what it looks like. So here we go. I only got 16% battery left. This button right here on the right, if I hit that, that's standard. It turns off or you can turn it all the way up to boost. Now I keep it on standard. Now again, that's that 5.3K that I told you about all the way up to 60 frames. It does do 
30 frames and 24 frames as well. Another thing that I like about this that makes it so convenient and easy to work with is that I can talk to it. So if I'm not using, I can just simply say, GoPro turn off and it'll shut down like what you just saw. But what I can say about this camera is it has made my travels and filming easy. I use this for my New York video. I use this for my Chicago travel video. And what I'll do is I'll post those videos at the end of this video so that you guys can go and check them out. It makes it so easy because it's small and convenient. I literally can pull it out my backpack or I can keep it in the coat pocket, but most of the time when I'm traveling, I keep it in my hand. That way, if I want to turn it on and get a quick shot of something or capture some footage or something, it's quick and convenient. I'm going to show you what this looks like connected to the handle, but it's a very easy to work with, convenient tool to use when you're shooting film, especially if you need to shoot something of yourself. So again, I did use this GoPro 10 on my New York travel and I did use it on my Chicago film that I made. I'm gonna put those links in the description and like I said before, I'll post them at the end of the video so that you guys can check out more footage from this camera. But right now I'm gonna just roll in some pictures so you guys can see what the pictures look like. And I did edit the pictures. So that just gives you a bit more insight on what you're able to do with the pictures once you take them. One thing about the GoPro Hero 11 is that the 11 is pretty much, in my opinion, the same as this GoPro 10 right here. And the 11, it just shoots in 10 bit to where you're able to manipulate the colors a little more when you edit them. But you can shoot within a flat profile with this GoPro 10. I'm somebody who purchased this camera with my own money. Nobody sponsors me. Nobody pays me to do anything. I'm only doing this because I've worked with this camera. I've taken this camera on many different vacations with me. I've done many different things with this camera. So I'm able to tell you what it's really like and what it's not good at and what it doesn't do well. One thing I will say that could be improved, what I would like to see going forward from GoPro is a bigger sensor. If they're able to, if GoPro is able to, I would like to see a larger sensor for better video quality. Now it does do good video and good photos. It does have a good image, but I would love to see a larger sensor within this camera so that we can look forward to seeing a better image. The 5.3K image is really good. Also, it'll do better at low light as well. It didn't do too bad at night because if you look at my New York film, I was out on Times Square filming with this. Now, although I had to edit that and manipulate it a little bit, it came out pretty good. But if GoPro puts a larger sensor within this camera, it would be even better at night. It's not good at night at all. You have to have some type of light if you're going to use this camera at night. And another thing about this is I see a lot of noise in the image around the darker parts of the image. I shouldn't see any noise because I'm shooting in broad daylight. But other than that, this is a very good tool here. Very sharp, good image, good in body stabilization, and very convenient to work with. Let me show you what it looks like on the handle. So here we go. This is what it looks like on the handle. I'm able to just flip this here and I can adjust this forward back. It's a ball head, so I can adjust it in any direction that I want it to go in, but it's very nice, easy and convenient. And I also can open this up. As you can see here, open this bad boy up or I can make a tripod out of it. There it goes. This can also stand up if I need it to. I can stand it higher if I want to. So it's the perfect tool. Get a real good look at it. If I was to only take one camera on a vacation, it would be this one because it's so convenient to use. And I can do many, many things with it. I've used this here to take pictures underwater, to take video underwater, which will be coming in one of my later films. So that there is the GoPro Hero 10. And what I like about it, it's an excellent tool, waterproof. If I only had one camera to take with me, it would be this one because it does everything. Ronnie Hicks Production, thank you guys for stopping by. Again, I will post two videos in the description. Check them out. One is from New York and one is from Chicago. Within both those films, I did use this. Ronnie Hicks Production. Peace.